Hey y'all! Today I am going to be styling Chibi Usa. Now it's no secret that I go hard for the Sailor Moon series, especially Chibi Usa, because... Pink. <laughs> so, let's get started. For my base, I'm using an Epic Cosplay NYX Infusion Vanilla Pink. I know that she's more of a princess pink, but Fusion Vanilla is my favorite shade. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Lissy, you over-roasted walnut, that's not a pigtail base. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. You're going to want to take about a eh, quarter of the top fibers and put them aside. There were no clips in sight, but apparently I had five million goddamn bows, so that's what I used to clip it to the side. You're going to want to separate the hair into four sections, two for the actual pigtails and then two in the front for the curls. You see like the little small portions? Yeah, those are for the curls. A trick I've learned to make high tails is to keep the bottom loose and keep tension high at the top. That way it's like pulling more towards the top of the wig and it'll keep it higher. Well that took four fucking ever. I mean, you're watching this while I'm fast forwarding through everything, but making high ponytails is some of the longest bullshit you'll ever have to sit through. The key is just gradually carrying the fibers upwards until you actually hit it to where you need to go. I'm an idiot who walks in front of the camera while styling, so you're just going to have to pretend you saw me do the other tail. But it's the exact same bullshit as the other one, so you're not missing much. Now it's time to cover up the wefts in the back. This is where you turn the wig around and release all the fibers that you had sitting at the top. I like to cut my fibers in layers to avoid a choppy finish. When I cut, I cut in an up-down motion. I find that the edges look better that way. Now I release my second layer and cut that. Some minor adjustments here and there and it is smooth as vanilla. Vanilla. Now we're going to take the fibers that we put in the front and split them in about like three quarters in the back and one quarter in the front. The one quarter in the front is going to be for the curl and the three quarters in the back are actually going to be the thing that cover up your sideburns. You want to cut it just enough so it covers up your sideburns, but not long enough so you look like Elvis Presley. It should look something like this. Hairspray and blow dry into place. Repeat on the other side and you're good. Now it is time for the anime bangs. To get maximum volume, I heat set the roots, so you're going to have to do this piece by piece. Take a small section of the bangs and iron the base. Make sure you hold it in an upwards direction until it completely cools. And once it has cooled, put it to the side so you can do another layer. Pretty much do this until all the fibers have been covered. Ruffle the bangs up and lightly spray them. This is how I add volume in the beginning. Once jimmies have been rustled, spray the underside while pulling the fibers straight up. Only do this if you want really huge bangs like I did. If not, the ruffling is just enough. To add extra drama, spray the midsection. Just keep doing this until you get the amount of volume that you want. Hey, 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 would you look at that? That's one a spicy bang. Now for the curl. When you're cutting it, keep in mind the extra length you'll need to actually keep the curl in. You can't actually curl wig fibers through normal methods like your own hair, so you're gonna have to actually heat up the fibers and then wrap the fibers around something to hold its shape as it cools down. You see that I'm holding it with my fingers and yes, it does fucking burn. So don't be a goddamn idiot like me and use a pencil or something. I may have been suffering, but you know, life is suffering. And life is beautiful. I tried using gloves. Still burned like a motherfucker. What's a little burning flesh here and there for cute curls? When making big cuts, I cut them in layers to avoid choppy finish. So definitely take your time while you're making your cuts. Looking good. Now to add the volume. Separate the middle part of the tail as if you're husking corn. I know that's a really, really weird analogy, but that's the closest thing I can think of. 
fan the edges out and lightly, and I do mean very, very lightly, spray the inside. If you spray too much, it will weigh the wig down and it will not have the volume that you want. It's here that I realized that I unplugged the frickin' blow dryer. Don't be like me. Yeah, so keep fanning out little pieces and spraying them until it's very frizzy in the area. Once you've gotten a thick frizz ball, release the fibers that you put to the side and layer them over the frizz. This is what keeps the outside clean while still retaining the volume that you want. Fan and spray, blah blah blah, you got the gist of it. As a personal touch, I like to curl the bottoms in and repeat for the other side. Same crap, so I didn't videotape it. For the eggs, I bought foam from Joann's. I always spray my foam the same color as the fibers so that if any foam peeks through, it won't stand out. Ta-da! Now for my least favorite part, layering fibers! Take some wefts, or if you're cheap, I mean, eco-friendly, like me, the fibers that were trimmed from the tails, and hairspray the tips so they harden. Next, layer on hot glue to reinforce the edges. Craft glue will dry better and look better, but I am very, very impatient. Glue your fibers onto the egg at an upward angle. Sorry you can't see it because I'm a goddamn idiot and keep pulling out of the shot, but you're pretty much just gluing and layering the fibers all around the egg. I lay a patch of hot glue down, press the fibers in, and then hairspray the top. You just do this over and over. I'm pretty sure there are way better ways of doing this, but I'm a lazy piece of shit. Oh my god, this takes for fucking ever. Done. I'm done. Thank God, because now is actually my favorite part. Painting! I always add a bit of paint to every single one of my wigs because I feel like it adds more dimension to the color. Here I'm adding a pink that's darker than the base color to the very bottom of the eggs. I'm also going to paint the clips for the eggs the exact same color. If there are different shapes in a wig, I like to make them detachable so they'll be safer to transport. I just straight up hot glue them to the bottom of the egg. Finally, I tone the base. I focus the color mainly on the base of the tail, the tips of the bangs, the ends of the curls, pretty much anywhere I want a gradient effect. And boy howdy am I a slut for gradients. As a final touch, I add hella glitter to every inch of the base. Just pop in the eggs and you have yourself a chibi moon. Or chibi usa. Whatever. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope it was somewhat informative. Let me know what you think in the comments. Unless you hate it, then I don't really want to know. See you next time!